If you've never heard of Atomic Scribbler, you may be wondering what it is. According to Dictionary.com, Atomic can mean pertaining to atomic bombs. A second definition is propelled or driven by atomic energy. In all the time I've been using Atomic Scribbler, I haven't noticed any explosions going off in my computer. And the only energy that propels this software will come from your creative mind. Atomic Scribbler is a relatively new Windows program designed specifically for writers. Scribbler uses a scene-based approach that allows you to easily visualize the structure of your project. If you're used to writing with software like Word or LibreOffice Writer, I think you'll find Atomic Scribbler will revolutionize your writing process. Not that Word and Writer are bad programs. I actually just finished a course on LibreOffice Writer, and I use it on a nearly daily basis. Those are both great programs, but just as you wouldn't build a house using a single tool, a hammer let's say, different computer programs are more suitable for the various phrases of the writing process. If you work on long documents in something similar to Word or Writer, you know what I mean. You end up with one long spaghetti-like document and find yourself continually scrolling or searching to find the part you need to work on. You lose sight of the overall structure of your project in the sea of continuous text. Atomic Scribbler to the rescue. With the handy document tree in the left panel, you create the structure of your project, dividing it into folders, scenes, and notes. Folders typically represent chapters, but they don't have to. You can set up the structure in whatever way suits your project. If you decide a scene would work better in a different chapter, or maybe your chapters need rearranged, all you have to do is drag and drop to reorder them. If you have a scene you think you might not need at all, Atomic Scribbler provides a unique feature called the Fragments tree. Just right-click the scene and select Move to Fragments. The Fragments tree allows you to retain that content and possibly reinsert it back into your document at a later time. There's also a Research tree where you can store reference material related to your project. Atomic Scribbler contains a word processor with basic formatting capabilities and spell checking. The program imports and exports five different document types, including Word's Doc and DocX formats. I guess I don't need to explain everything about Atomic Scribbler in this introductory video. That's what the course is for. Let me just add two things. Atomic Scribbler itself is free. This Windows software isn't limited in any way. You won't be nagged to upgrade to a paid version to get all its features. There is currently one paid add-on called Smart Edit. This add-on gives you self-editing capabilities along the lines of online tools like Grammarly, except that it works right inside Atomic Scribbler. There's no need to copy your text to a website or another program. You can run the 15 checks Smart Edit currently provides right in Atomic Scribbler. You'll have a free 10-day trial of Smart Edit when you download Atomic Scribbler. If you choose not to purchase the add-on, Atomic Scribbler will continue to work just as before, but you won't have access to the editing options provided by Smart Edit. As a self-published author, Atomic Scribbler has become a vital tool in my writing workflow. I use it from the rough draft stage through the revisions phase of my writing, but you don't have to be an author to benefit from Scribbler's features. I also use it to develop courses like this one. I see it as a great writing tool for bloggers, students, and teachers. Why not download Atomic Scribbler now and give it a try?